David. Hey. What's going on? Hey. Uh, this is my third week watching you guys. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad we made the cut. <laughs> Any, anyone else in the in the comments been here more than three times? Let us know in the chat. We'd love to hear that. Uh, however, we are here to to break down your calling. So the thing is, I actually have all your information here. So I know exactly what you're looking to call about. I know exactly what you're looking to do. So appreciate you sending the information over to the marketing team. Is there anything else that you wanted to add, right, to what you sent over in your email? But I have everything you're looking for. So I think we're good. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. So um, I'm in San Diego, by the way, uh, for those who were interested and because you want to know where I was from. But... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to San Diego. Y'all got your beautiful weather. In oh, this. it's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm. I um, know. I know. OK, so ring, ring. Hello. Hi, my name's David Alinian and my company's talent retention plans. And I noticed you're the chief HR officer for. Valley Regional Hospital. Do you have a minute? Yeah, I only have a minute. Oh, David, okay. So you got to make this quick. You got to make this All quick. Right, I want to be respectful of your time, so I'll be brief and I'll get right to the point. Is it okay if I ask you a quick, a quick question? Yeah, sure. As you know, skilled workforce shortages are a serious issue for hospitals everywhere. In your opinion, what are the biggest obstacles or concerns that you have regarding skilled labor shortages? Wow, this is, a, this is a prompting question. I mean, I wasn't expecting this question today. Uh, uh, <laughs> Just taking a poll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I mean, I think I think across the board, it comes down to, I think, people getting paid what they're worth. I think that's probably the biggest one that we've seen across the board right now is that, you know, we're not – we're not able to get, I think people across the board, even colleagues have talked about this. They're not able to guild the skilled and highly talented people because the wages are off. Well, here's the thing. There aren't enough people with skills to go around. I mean, there are more jobs and there are people to fill them. And skilled workforce shortages are a significant factor as to why hospitals are closing their doors in record numbers. I mean, last year, last year a report came out 897 rural hospitals were at a high risk or an immediate risk of closing. That's almost half. That's devastating in those communities. But here's what they found. Their costs are too high. Their revenues are too low. And they don't have the skilled professionals to deliver care. I mean, and turnover, people coming and going, coming and going, causes all three of those issues. You know, by the way, just so that you know. I wrote a book on this topic. It's called Talent Retention, How to Attract and Retain Highly Skilled Professionals. It's possible that I could maybe give you a few suggestions that, you know, you could talk with your, your, uh, your board and your, your colleagues that can dramatically lower turnover costs, lower expenses, and increase lost revenues. As I said, I, I don't want to take up your time today because it's a lot. But if you like, we could schedule a Zoom call and I could share some ideas and concepts with you. Yeah, I mean, that that sounds fair. I mean, it does sound like a lot. So it does sound like a call would be good. I, I believe that my director of HR would be better for this conversation to start if you if you want to email her. Uh, the director is OK. Generally speaking, well, it's on, in every case. I work with the most senior HR uh, HR person that in the organization because it's that big of a thing. So, mm. and this will be, I'll get right to the point when we do our zoom meeting, but it'll be, it'll be 30 minutes well spent. Okay. Uh, I think I'm open to it. Okay. Great. How's your calendar look? Um, like a puzzle piece. I don't know. There's a lot of going on. Tetris okay. There's a lot happening. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's pretty, I, it's pretty I, busy. I, okay. <laughs> I, I, how's t how's tomorrow or the day after look for you? Uh, I I could do next Tuesday. Tuesday. All right. Yeah. Uh, you like morning or afternoon? M morning's best. Okay. Let's do early. Like, what time do you get in on Tuesday? Uh, like like ten a uh, ten a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ten a.m. Okay. Yep. Done. I'll shoot you a Zoom link and I'll see you next Tuesday. Awesome. Thank okay. you, David. Thank you.
cool. All right, buddy. You can give your uh, comments in the chat. I'm going to give you a round of applause. We give everybody a round of applause here. You, you know what it is. So, David, all right, I got I got some feedback for you here. I'm going to start off with the positives. You're you're really good at pacing. I don't know if y'all paid attention to David's pacing. His, as someone said in the chat, the emphasis, the pauses, and did a really good job of talking as if he's had this conversation before, which which you have, but but talking as he's had this conversation a lot, which shows that in this conversation, he is the subject matter expert. He is someone that I need to be talking to because he clearly has some insights. And I really love the way that you phrased, hey, I'm going to give you a couple suggestions, right? So it wasn't him like selling me on something. I mean, he was selling the meeting, but he wasn't like selling me on something. He was like, hey, I got a couple suggestions for you. You want to hop on a 30 minute Zoom call? And that, that took the pressure off of me to want to hop on that call across the board. So I, I'm pointing out some things that were very, very key that you all can walk away, whether you're a business owner, an SDR, an AE, or you're about to go into sales. The things that he did here are just fundamentals that can carry you moving forward in all of your sales career. So I really like the pace and tone. I love the inflections and the pauses. I love the way that you told those stories and, and mapped it back to like your own experience and the way that you close. It's really good. Thank you. Now let's talk about suggestions. And I saw someone put this in the chat. You can, I, I believe that you could merge those two introductions that you did. So you said, do you have a, a minute? And then you said, can I ask a quick question? I think you could have just merged and just said, do you have a, do you have a minute for me to ask a quick question? Okay. And then you could have just, you could have just gone right into it. Right. And that's a small detail, but I like the, that. I like that. Yeah. Cause in the intro, like your intro is strong and you deliver it very well. I don't think you need the other piece of asking a quick question. I think you could just merge it together and then get right into your question. Cause your question was really good. Right. I was like, well, okay. I got to think about this. Right. And remember when I talked about getting interest, this is not to you, David, so everyone else. Remember when we talked about the interest piece, David just showed you how to do that. So there was the demo of, of exactly how to do that. He asked the question that led into me opening up because he asked a question about something that I care about. Not to say I'm not a chief HR person, but I like how he spin that. And then he got me back into that conversation. So that was one. And then two, I mentioned this last time. This is an extremely small detail. The email, David. You said let's set up a Zoom, but you didn't clarify the email. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, we don't we don't know email. we don't know where this invite's going. <laughs> Actually, if I'm calling you, I have your email already. You probably do have the email, but I always tell people let's <laughs> you know you never know, right? You always want to clarify that. But that was right. like my last thing. You did a great job. Uh, Thanks. The board. Yeah, Thank you. Absolutely. Cheers. It's always, it's always good to double check everybody. I, I have two data tools at the company that I'm at right now. And I always double check because you never know. You never know. You can use Cognizant. That's what you should be using it for. And you should do that. But always double check because I, I've had a scenario where like I didn't double check. Invite. They changed their email address like a week before to something different. And I, I ended up missing that across the board. Right? So that's the key.